Hello, in this video, I'll be demonstrating how to create a steer point in the F-16 from the coordinates given in the JTAX 9-line call. These coordinates are typically given in MGRS, which stands for Military Grid Reference System. Before we continue, it's important to know some basics about MGRS. MGRS breaks down the globe into squares. The length of characters in an MGRS coordinate corresponds to how many grid subdivisions are measured. An MGRS coordinate with only four characters represents a 100 km square area, or a precision level of 100 km. The longest and most precise MGRS coordinate has 15 characters and represents a precision level of 1 meters. MGRS coordinates can be given with all 15 characters or given with less. My suggestion is to break down the coordinates into three groups of five characters. The first five characters are the grid and the square. The grid, or the first three characters, are usually large enough that they will not change on the DCS map unless your mission area happens to cross a grid border. You should figure out the grid for your mission before you begin. The next five characters represent east, similar to longitude, and the last five characters are north, similar to latitude. When the JTAG issues you coordinates, he will give you a string of eight characters. The first two characters are the square. The remaining six represent east and north numbers. But how do you find the missing four numbers? Since the JTAC gives us six numbers, assume the first three are east and the last three are north. Assume all the remaining missing numbers are zero. So in our example, the JTAC coordinates delta alpha 202317. The grid for the entire mission will be 37 Sierra. The square is delta alpha. The east number is 20200 and the north number is 31700. Enter the altitude given by the JTAC as well to ensure the steer point is set to the proper 3D position in space. Once the grid, square, east, north, and altitude numbers are all correct, you must highlight convert and then hit enter. This makes the computer convert the MGRS coordinates of latitude and longitude and makes the steer point valid. Now let's hop in the plane and demonstrate this in real time. Systems are active, master arms on, laser arm is on. One of the first things we need to do before we can use Mavericks is to pour sight. I'm going to level off right here. Go to air to ground. I'll bring up the targeting pod on the left. Air on the Mavericks and wait for those to turn on. Make sure we have our target locked up on the TGP. Switch to the Maverick. We're going to try to find that same target. Once we find it, we'll lock it up with the Maverick. Alright, now we have a lock. We're going to hit the uh, OSB. Foresight, switch back to the targeting pod, redesignate, back to the Maverick, switch pylons to the other pylon, do the same thing again. Lock, foresight. Now the Maverick should be primed and ready. Now, the next thing we're going to do is call the JTAC a target, and we're going to create a new steer point based off its coordinates. So in order to create a uh, new steer point with MGRS coordinates, we're going to have to use something more than 21 and above. So hit 4 for steer point, type in 21, enter. Okay. Now, the default 
pulse to Latin longitude. To get it to MGRS, we're going to hit sequence and wait a couple seconds. And now we're in MGRS. And our grid is 370. I'm going to select grid, type 37, enter. And then I'm going to use the uh, up down, go to Sierra. Enter. All right, the next will be the square. So the square in the east and north and the elevation we're going to get from the JTAG. We'll call him now. Playboy 5 1, this is Colt 1 1 1 F 16, Delta Alpha 3 0 1 2 at 15,000. Armed with DGM 65D, GBU 12 500 gun. Time on station is 0 plus 45. Available for tasking. What do you have for us? Colt 1 1. This is Playboy 5 1. Type 2 in effect. Advise and ready for 9 line. Ready to copy. Line is as follows 1, 2, 3, NA. 1,100 feet MSL. APC. Delta Alpha 254268. Marked by Willie Pete. Zero. Southeast 700. Egress East. Advisement ready for remarks and further talk on. Alright, so he's read me the coordinates. Delta Alpha. 254268. So the the numbers are the east and north. 254, and then I'm going to add two zeros to the end. And 268 with two zeros to the end. Ready to copy remarks. Use AGM 65D. Wind 280 at 6 meters per second. Read back the line line clearance. 1,100. Delta Alpha 254268. 1,100 is the altitude. Those numbers should check out. So the last thing we need to do is highlight convert and enter. This will make it an, uh, a valid and active steer point. All right, now we're ready for the attack. Make sure our targeting pod is SOI. Go team us down to reset to the new steer point. You can already see that uh, nearby there's a target for the APC, just like in the description. So we're going to go to point, find that APC, highlight them, and now we're going to turn inbound. Follow your bomb line. Proceeding inbound now. Colt 1 1. IP inbound. Wait till we're Colt, within the. One, one. Continue. Good launch distance. Mark within 10 target. miles. We're going to go TMS up. TMS up. End off in progress. And we have a lock. 7 miles. Rifle. Missile was a little bit off target, which might be a sign that we need to report sight. This time, before we uh, fire the rifle, we'll do a real quick report sighting. Okay, we'll go TGP, undesignate, redesignate the target. Designate on the Maverick, port site. Back to TGP, redesignate, and off in progress. We've got a lock, rifle. Shack. And 
that time, we got a direct hit. Hopefully you found this video helpful. We talked about how to create a steer point based off of MGRS coordinates from a JTAC, as well as how to use the targeting pond, the bore site, designate targets, fire mavericks, complete the cast mission. Thanks for watching.